two companies involved in the digital signage and outdoor advertising business. Uh, it's Anbel Media Limited and Intelligent Multimedia Limited. I'm Sandra Bognarine. I'm the general manager of the companies in question that Andrew just spoke of. And we've been dealing with Vantage Signs for oh, nine, on eight years now, Andrew. That's right. And it's been quite an experience. We have found not only the products, but the customer service and the hand-holding to be exemplary and unmatched. At Anbel slash IML, we pretty much um, introduced the LED technology to Jamaica, and we're proud that we've set the stage for a number of competitors to come on board. I mean, that's inevitable. And uh, because of that, now we have several competitors, which means even more so we have to make sure that we're up on our game and that we offer products and services that can deliver as promised. I first met Chris Ma from Vantage Signs in, at the International Sign Association Expo in, way back in 2003. The ISA gives us a good opportunity to evaluate several vendors and the display that Chris had uh, installed was very impressive. The resolution was sharp, the capabilities was unmatched, so it was pretty much a natural selling point. You see, when you're dealing with digital signage and the technology, I mean, the technology can is somewhat basic across vendors, but the difference is to be able to reach somebody when you have an issue at two o'clock in the morning so that you can look good in the eyes of the customer. That, for us, weighs very heavily in our selection of any vendor. As a new revenue stream, part of the ad-based network, it is critical that we have signage that runs 24-7 with minimal downtime and Vantage was able to deliver on that. You know in Jamaica it's hot and it's humid. Now the sign has to be constructed in such a manner as to, to deal with that heat and temperature issue. Vantage was able to do that without the use of a, an expensive air conditioning unit in each panel which tends to drive up the cost of the equipment and the the, the maintenance. We've done our matrix in terms of, uh, of how we choose suppliers for anything right now, software, whatever, because accessibility is top on the list. Being a small island out in the Caribbean, when it's not time zone differences, it's just that people are not as easily accessible and contactable, but not so with Chris and team. About Two and a half years ago, the, the, the concept came up to, to, to really blanket the city. In Jamaica, we are on the Wall Street of, of the city, pretty much. And we work closely with a company called Digicel, which is Jamaica's number one telecommunications provider. And they wanted to make a statement. They wanted the biggest, boldest the, um, display there is in the island and probably this in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean. Yeah. We had a very exhaustive vendor selection process where we looked at everything, not just cost. Cost probably was the, the factor that wasn't weighed as much, but in terms of the reliability, the, the experience of the vendor, um, ability to reach a vendor, and the ability to get spare parts and after subsequent sales after support, sales service. Yes. All of that weighed, weighed in very heavily. And and Chris, Chris's company, Vantage Science, was selected as the company that met all the criteria that we had established. We had a challenge um, with this particular installation. It, it was at the cross-section of two major streets, so we wanted to have the sign actually on both sides of the street. But to wrap naturally, to make the corner or make the curve without having two units pretty much placed together and then having that gap of the metal hardware. Well, Chris and his team was able to come up with a design that incorporated the LEDs in the corner as well. So it appears as one seamless unit. And no other manufacturer was able to do that for us. What has happened is that Vantage has helped to put our company on the map in terms of expertise regarding the LED industry. And it has helped because we were a natural se vendor selection locally for the Tracks and Record project. In fact, just last night we completed installation within budget and within the time frame specified of an LED display in Usain Bolt's Tracks and Records uh, flagship location here in Kingston, Jamaica. And it's going to be the first of a chain of franchise operated store concept. And we're going to be duplicating this concept as the other locations roll out. So it's a, it's a good business for us. 
the being able to service the signs, being able to have them up before they, and, and running for a considerable period before servicing is also key. Um, maybe not so good for the repairman because the repairman doesn't get a lot of business, which is, is, that the main which is something guy? you have to consider, <laughs> right? Yeah. But um, <laughs> apart from that, we're, we're quite happy. We recommend, absolutely without hesitation, Chris and his team at Vantage Signs. They said the test of anything, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, and we have eaten and <laughs> done well. It, it has been a great association. Go, Go Vantage, Vantage from your friends from Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs>